You know, there are multiple narrations and statements that mention the shaking of the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And we've, we've spoken about, you know, how great the throne of Allah is and how it's the roof of all of creation and it encompasses all of the creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So how is it that the throne of Allah would shake and why? Uh, there's a fabricated hadith that I, that I often hear that uh, divorce shakes the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that hadith is maldur, it's fabricated anyway. However, there is an authentic narration where the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, اِهْتَزَّ عَرْشُ الرَّحْمَانِ لِمَوْتِ سَعْدِ بْنِ مُعَاذِ That the, the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the throne of the most merciful, shook from the death of Sa'id bin Mu'adh radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Now Sa'id bin Mu'adh is one of the greatest of the companions of the Prophet sallallahu He is one of the Ansar of Al-Madinah. He's, he's one of the chiefs of Al-Ansar, the helpers in Medina. He's someone that stood by the Prophet sallallahu He's someone that when, you know, when, when people had hesitation, he was the one that would get them back to their state of confidence, that would remind them of their service of the Lord of, 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 you know, the, Lord of the throne, of the most merciful, that would remind them of the pledge that they took to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa I mean, he has an incredible life. I mean, subhanAllah, just to think that this man only lived as a Muslim for five years, and the Prophet ﷺ said that the throne of the Most Merciful uh, shook because of his death. He died in his 30s, he only lived as a Muslim for a few years. But this man was a great man, was an unbelievable man. And in fact, the Prophet ﷺ said that, or, or rather the Sahaba, they said that the, the janazah of Sa'ad, that when we were carrying the body of Sa'ad, it was extremely light. And some of the hypocrites, they made fun of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu and they said, look, you know, he's not worth anything. So they, they took that as a sign of disgrace. But the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said that the angels were carrying the body of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu. So what is it that that actually means? That the throne of the most merciful shook. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he, he, he explains to us that the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did not shake, you know, because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or the throne could not handle the death of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu, or because of fear or anything of that sort. But the throne shook min farah rabb from the joy of the Lord of the returning of the soul of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu. Can you imagine? The Prophet sallallahu said, it shook out of joy. And Imam Hassan al-Basri rahimahullah, he, you know, he comments on that and he says that it didn't shake out of fear or trauma, but rather out of joy of Sa'ad, or for Sa'ad returning to his Lord, the same way that Uhud, Mount Uhud, shook when the Prophet ﷺ was with Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman on it. And Rasulullah ﷺ told Mount Uhud, Uthbut ya Uhud, that be firm, O Uhud, because you have upon you a prophet, uh, a, a Siddiq, a man of truth, and two martyrs. Uh, and the Prophet ﷺ said, Uhud is a mountain that loves us, and we love it. So it shook, recognizing the greatness of the one that was upon it. Or the tree that cried when the Prophet ﷺ left it, because Rasulullah ﷺ used to give khutbah, leaning on this tree. That tree shook, and it cried when the Prophet ﷺ left it, recognizing the greatness of the one that departed. So the scholars, they say that Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he eventually died from a wound that he suffered in the Battle of Khandaq. And so he was considered a shaheed, he was considered a martyr. And the martyrs, the Prophet ﷺ tells us that the souls of the shuhada, the souls of the martyrs, live in the bodies of green birds. And their nests are in chandeliers hanging from the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can you imagine that? The nests are in, the, in, in lamps and in chandeliers hanging from the throne of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the Prophet ﷺ said they leave when they please, and they eat from the fruits of paradise, and they go where they like, and then they come back and they stay in these chandeliers under the throne of the Most Merciful. And so the joy of Sa'ad radiallahu ta'ala anhu coming to occupy one of those chandeliers caused the throne of the Most Merciful to shake.